really sit and eat breakfast. Breakfast for me is a huge plate. I don't know if I'm going to be able to eat all this. Uh, potatoes, tomato and some lettuce. And I'm trying to get some work done quickly before I need to head over to the main house. Because I didn't manage to do any editing whatsoever yesterday. Because I went out doing the shopping and with the car and everything. Didn't get any time at all. So I am so behind with work. So I'm trying to... I mean, I've only got like 50 minutes. So <laughs> probably not going to get that much done. But try and get some editing done i am like i think i looked at the rotor yesterday and i'm like on all day today so i'm like cooking lunch cooking tea in the morning in the afternoon so i'm not gonna have much time today to do any work either so i'm gonna try and get it in when i can it's spitting a little bit this morning i haven't been out yet i didn't go and do my one this morning i was kind of i woke up at five and then i was kind of dozing i kept falling back asleep and waking up and falling back asleep and waking up till like quarter seven and it was too late then, so I just did some yoga instead. I'll show you a deck with the bell around. I'll show you how to use it. I just left the kids back at the house for a little bit. I'm going for a little walk because I'm feeling really lazy, like I've just been sitting on my bum all morning. I haven't vlogged because you know what it's like by now. I'm just, I don't know, like I get involved in doing something with the kids or whatever. We played some card games and stuff. In fact, they taught us, Noah taught us a German card game called Schnutz, Schnat, Schnutz. I can't remember what it's called now, but that's pretty cool. So we've been playing that all morning. I'm just coming out for a little walk. I've just been reading my emails and I've just received, well, actually, it was a few days ago I received it, the nicest email from someone. I hope they don't mind. I won't like read it out, but it's from, they found me from another YouTuber, uh, Jinty Fell. I'll link her down below. If you're interested in like, family travel or veganism or anything, they are such an adorable family. It is Jinty and her husband and their little girl. It was maybe one. They're just so adorable. Anyway, I commented on one of her videos and then this woman who has emailed me found me from there. And it's just really nice. She's planning on maybe going traveling with her child. She doesn't say whether it's boy or girl, uh, three, her three year old. It is so, so nice to receive this email. If you are watching, um, Sabrina, yes, Sabrina, if you are watching, thank you so much for sending the email. I will reply to you. I will, I will, I will, I will have replied to you by the time this goes out anyway. But um, it's just so nice to receive an email or anything from people that kind of get it and understand this lifestyle and are encouraging about it. And are like, yeah, well done, Sarah, nice one and are positive about it and send positive feelings out. It, I get that it is not a lifestyle for everybody and lots of people actually don't understand it. Why would you want to travel full time? It's not good for your son and all of this stuff. And when you see, I, I'm faced with that constantly from family back at home or friends or just people online in general. And to hear such positive thoughts about the traveling lifestyle just kind of warmed my heart a little bit it is nice to know that you're not on your own sometimes especially as a single mum traveling you sometimes do feel very much like an island that you're just completely on your own and isolated and when you get an email like that you, you kind of realize that actually you're not there's so many people out there especially these days with you know all social medias and everything there's so many similar like-minded people out there that just connect with and yeah, it's, it's just really heartwarming and nice to know. And it made my morning, really, reading that email. It was so nice. So I think, generally, sort of most people are quite closed off to anything that's out of the norm, anything that is not what most people do. People can't kind of wrap their heads around it and be like, well, why would you not send your kid to school? Why would you... Like, I don't know, I'm just kind of... It gets really boring having the same argument and the same conversations with people. It's like, oh my goodness, you have sent your child to school, whatever, I am not doing it at the moment. And everyone's got such a strong opinion about it. And it's like, and a lot of people actually are not even prepared to kind of listen to my point of view. They just think that that's wrong. You shouldn't be doing that. And it's like, whatever. So it is nice. And I think that definitely I do need to try and into it. I keep saying this. I do say this quite often that I do need to try and integrate in the travel community a little bit more. I am trying to and uh, that's why it's nice doing things like the workaways that you get to meet other people doing similar things and yeah. 
back from my walk. These two haven't moved. They're playing on Clash Royale. We're playing this Schnauts. Is it called Schnauts? Yes, yeah. yeah, Schnauts. The boys have come to join us now. We're all going to play together. I'm going to win. No, We're using real money. No, I'm going to win. I'm going to win. Oh, yes, I am. <laughs> Everybody knows that I'm going to win. No. no. I can I last all the time. Me and Noah are the only ones who have won. Yeah, it's true. There's always the first time for everything. Okay, <laughs> let's see. That sounded like a farted, but okay. <laughs> My turn, right? Mmm. <gasps> no. I was like, oh, what? What? What's so amazing? <laughs> You should remember this and like play it like when we're back at home or whatever with everyone else yeah. and then come down. Mm. Well, that's a good deck if you want to take all. <laughs> if you're in trouble. Pass. Schnauts. <gasps> Schnauts. Well done. Uh -oh. 31. I don't know. <laughs> Ten. Ten. Twenty-three. Oh no. Oh. Okay, man, what's going on? I think we're going to go in the pool. I'm going to just nip over. Oh, I've got a cat hair or something. I'm going to go over and get our stuff and then we're going to go down. Have a little play around in the pool. It's quite cloudy today. It's just me, Stephen and Ilby going to the pool. No, he's not coming with us. ilby has gone round the other way. She's just gone sailing down past us on a um, longboard. So she's gone downhill <laughs> round to the pool. We're at the pool. We should see if... Just like we could play um, pool if the ball, yeah the balls are here. Children under 15 are not allowed to play snooker. There's no one here to tell you not to. We could play snooker. It's like a full size table. If you wanted to. What else is there? Toilets. Oh, sauna. Can't read that. There's a sauna, if we can get it working. Yeah, you've always wanted to have a sauna, haven't you? Remember we went to David Lloyd? Well, you used to want to anyway. Oh, yeah, yeah. Like in the steam yeah, room. someone's house or whatever it is. It's just like through their garden. It is, isn't it? Like this is their driveway. Yeah. Oh no, I don't think even I could get lost coming this way. I'm not sure if I can make it across that little stream with this bag and longboard and everything. 
Can you get across with it, yeah? Yay, I made it! Across! You can, to make it quicker, you can put like two on top of each other, so like if you have more than one, you can chop them up. Kids are making us tea. Only have to do that. Like, do you know how to do it? No. Like put your fingers like that and then slide the knife down your knuckles. So you put your, your fingers away because that's what you'd like. You, and you, you, you keep this on the bent. Yeah, yeah. And yeah. your knuckles there and you just go and you move your knuckles back. You keep your knuckles, like don't put your fingers out and you yeah. chop your fingers to keep your knuckles. And just rock backwards and forwards like that. We're going home! I forgot to show you our delicious tea that Stephen helped make. It was so nice. It's a little bit now, but well, we are going. Thunder. It's about 8 o'clock. Oh. We are going home. That... No. You think that was thunder? That's... No. That's Natasha, isn't it? No, it's, yeah, it's Natasha. I was going to say, it's not him. He left it. Oh. Yeah, like two minutes yeah. I was going to go for a walk. I didn't realise it. Like, it had gotten so late and so dark and everything. We had a nice evening. It was good, wasn't it? Yeah. Yeah, light the way for us. Pitch black, we can't see. Ah, I can't see. Thank you. Oh, you hear those frogs? I'm assuming they're frogs. Oh, we can send it box. Yeah. Oh, you dropped my top. I'll get it. Thank you. Oh, my goodness. I thought that was real then. That completely freaked me out. It looked like its head was moving. We're not going up yet. It's only like. What was eight? Something like that. So we're gonna sit down. Twenty three minutes past eight. We're gonna watch an episode or something. I'm gonna edit as well. Try and catch up. I've managed to do a little bit. As I say this morning that was all behind. I've managed to edit a video during the day at some point. I need to try and do another one tonight. Got everything? Yeah. You could have closed it. I think there's nothing uploading. I don't think. What? I don't think anything's uploading. But thank you.